So look, I was doing some math, bro. And I realized something. I got two things I'm going to be talking about until I solve this problem. Because I got to solve this motherfucking problem. Especially for people. When I was 19, I was done with child support. And I'm calculating my child support. And I talk about this in, in different videos, but the situation I'm in right now, I would, you have to, just not, just not even me, just people, you would have to have either a partner or live with family. Hold on real quick. All right, anyway, let's get back to this. So, bro, I'm doing a math, and even when I was young, when I was doing child support, the thing that was weird to me is because I know, like, once my baby mom got on the welfare system, that system do something to where the communication just be off something like changes and I couldn't understand when I was dealing with them like I'm going down there by myself it's like why y'all couldn't just teach us the thing that we need to know as adulthood like this the first system that I dealt with that was a professional setting I mean a professional system had a professional setting understood business understood how to make money so and just a lot of shit that I felt like at a young age you know and it used to be some weird shit. I used to just feel weird going there. Because it's like, damn, why don't y'all, like, make us both get a job? Y'all both have us have, like, a plan to where we both map this shit out and teach people how to stick together. That's what I used to think. Like, why y'all don't teach us how to stick together? It's not in their best motherfucking interest. So, uh, I'm going to read over a little bit of this stuff that I got. Uh, I'm going to read this, actually. This is what I wrote. I said, dealing with the child support system from age 19, I never could understand why they don't make us co-parent together. How they make it mandatory for me to come down there, why don't they make it mandatory that we both work a job and they contribute resources like daycare till we're up on our feet. They give us both skills and resources. And the reason why I said that with the daycare is because daycare is expensive as shit. It's expensive. But one parent get to sit and ride the damn welfare system off. And from the looks of it, like, especially in my daughter's case, my daughter's 10 years old. Her mom been on that motherfucker since she turned one. You know, the first year I talk about that too, we live with my dad. But same thing for my rest of my kids, all my kids, the welfare system. You know, I'll just put it like that and get into all the details. But I was looking at that. So I done my expenses. That's what I really want to get into. And rent. Would not be able to survive. Rent being an issue. Fifteen ninety one for a one bedroom the apartment that I'm in right now. That's our apartment, one bedroom. If it was not me and my girl together, wouldn't be able to survive. I did this out on an individual level. Fifteen ninety one for one bedroom, nine hundred for child support, forty dollars for phone bill, fifty dollars for car insurance, seven dollars for my life insurance. Pay. Well, it's a little bit more, but I did it monthly, so a monthly about seven dollars. Calculating, I don't even know if I should do my business expenses on this. Well, I think I would have to because I calculated all my business expenses fifty dollars for my social media platform, app builder thirty dollars a month, my website builder thirty seven dollars a month, my other website builder is fifteen dollars a month, and then all of this it totals up to thirty two thousand six hundred and forty. Now, my expenses with my business is lower than these other damn expenses, but it's something I got to scale up. The business is something that I need mandatory now because the employer route is it's not going to work. You cannot survive. So in this video, another thing I want to talk about is because I've talked about this too. Me and my girl, we was on affordable house and our rent was six fucking seventy. They upped the shit. They don't want to deal with us. They want to deal with, it's a term that they got for like a, like different levels of people that's struggling. They want the people that's really like making less than 15000 if I'm not mistaken, or less than that a year. That's the crazy part, a fucking year. So it's like, bro, y'all people are crazy. And the reason why they're like that, the only thing I can understand is because they get a credit. And with us, they didn't get that credit. But it's like still motherfuckers are struggling trying to figure it out. Like y'all, the, the rent is at y'all discretion. Y'all make the price. So... I have to come at this company and really start putting companies on the front and building up a system where people do that because you can't let them get away with this shit. Even though they could continue to get away with it, but it's like knowing. That's why I have to start my own community, bro. 
dead ass and I have to drop gems so people know these type of resources because it makes no sense that this shit is that much like the overhead for owning an apartment I, I did I did a video where I talk about I'm looking up a, a apartment that was sell complex and just to get a scenario like what do you have to pay and it's property taxes you got the overhead landscaping your staff um, you know the people to clean maintenance and whatnot and uh, you got the property taxes it was a couple of other damn things but it wasn't a lot so in the scenario where I did that for this this uh, building that was for sale the property taxes on that was just nine thousand a year so I came up with a rent model where everybody would be able to afford the shit because they was charging like eighteen hundred for rent for these people that's rent now it's mind blowing, bro. It's so it's so many ways I come at that. I'm gonna get more organized in my other videos, but this shit is crazy. Also, too, I want to add in that this map, this this calculation I came up with, that this my shit would come up to thirty two thousand six hundred forty. Going off of minimum wage in California is fifteen dollars an hour. You know, I've done it for fifteen dollars an hour, and I've done it from eighteen dollars an hour. It's still not enough. It's still not enough. And that's not including gas, food, utility, or Wi-Fi. These people are crazy. And even with, like, our apartment people, bro, we're having issues with them because they ain't sent us our new lease. We've been here going on a whole year with no new lease. Like, we just been in this motherfucker. Then they changed the shit and said that we got to start paying this 1591 in August. And it's like, well, where's a new lease? I'm trying to add my daughter on a lease so that way we can go apply for some fucking rental assistance because we need this shit. They're going to strip the income but motherfucking naked. So I'm being like 100. But I had to voice this shit because this is shit that a lot of people go through, you know, and it's just having an outcome. You know, if me and my girl didn't have a business mindset that we do now, then we'll be fucked, like, to be, to be 100, bro. So... Anyways, on top of that, uh, I'm trying to come up with a price in my, why does my thing working? What's going on? Oh, snaps. Oh, I didn't. Uh, hold on real quick. I got to exit out of this thing on here. How do I exit out of this? How do I exit out of this shit? I don't know. I'm trying to use that shit. Anyways, we get back over here, so. Y'all can go to my website, justmo.com. I'll take you to my platform to watch. Video content, y'all can subscribe. I got it for six ninety nine right now. With a good price. I'm going to be uploading a lot of videos on here. Talking about my homeless stories in Iowa. I got to upload more videos. Because what's crazy, outside of this, I was uh, when I was homeless in Iowa, I recorded a lot of shit when I was out there. But, you know. I ain't gonna get into it, but I got a whole bunch of stuff that I'm gonna be talking about. Gems that I'm gonna be dropping, stuff about annuities. People need to learn about annuities. Gang culture, that's me when I was young, gang banging. So I'm just talking about stories and just, you know, why a lot of shit is stupid. But I'm gonna have a whole bunch of content on here. Then in the future, because me and my girl, we already been networking with a couple of companies as far as, um, licensing movie content and stuff like that i'm not probably gonna have it on this platform but we'll start another platform to have video content for people to watch and build up an ecosystem to help people especially content creators and local dope you know artists who who's in the film industry stuff like that but we'll talk about that later other than that i'm keep this video short i'm out